Alrighty, it is Shane Simmons back again, and this video is from Bonnie Blue, Virginia, which is in Lee County. It was the largest coal camp as part of the Blue Diamond Coal Company, which was a pretty good-sized coal company that was based in Middlesbrough, Kentucky. And Bonnie Blue, Lee County is all pretty close to the Kentucky border. You're really right along the edge of Harlan County, so uh, that to kind of give you an idea where it's located. But Bonnie Blue has really been hit hard, like a lot of these camps. It is... It was built in the 1920s. I want to say 1923 stands out for some reason. I think that's it. And uh, But as the coal died off and people moved closer to towns that have better access to health care, grocery stores, retail shopping, whatever, you know, it's when people migrate away and you know, these houses start to fade away. So it's one of that dying breed of coal camps. And I hope you enjoy a look at it. Who knows how much longer camps like this will even be around. So I like documenting them while we can. So hope you enjoy Bunny Blue. Shane Simmons Appalachian Project coming at you from Bonnie Blue Road in Bonnie Blue, Virginia, just outside of St. Charles. Um, and honestly, I hate to, it pains me to say it and pains me to see it. It's probably one of the more hard hit areas you'll see in Appalachia uh, that was used to be coal country. As far as the housing, it's almost extinguished. And uh, this was Bonnie Blue at one time had somewhere in the vicinity of a thousand residents and it's now down to just a handful. I did want to show this too. This is something you don't see necessarily every day as a uh, this coal load out going right into the you know, trains. So apparently there's still some mining that goes on here, which is good news for the folks in this area. Let's give you a little view of that. Like I said, it's not something you necessarily get to see every day. So. We'll take a turn up here onto the Virginia Lee. Road. And that's a funny sight. There's a little an old dog out here. Zero in on him. I can't tell you the last time anybody that's ever worked in the mines knows those jokers will show up. Almost everybody's got one. Some old dog that hangs around becomes an unofficial mine mascot. This is kind of foggy and creepy and cool at the same time too. Let's look up the railroad tracks. Well, that is a heck of a view right there. But uh, again, getting back to this, this is really one of the harder hit areas for population drop. And it's a very remote location. All these things play into it. Downturn of the mining. And it's really the people that do live here um, tend to have it rough for the most part. There's always exceptions, but I uh, it always pains me a little bit to see these. And even show them, but it, you know, it's another thing is too. You want to be honest and true, tell the truth. So they are, like I said, mostly on most of the homes are all gone at this point. There's a very few handfuls, and some of those are pretty bad repair too. So we'll get up here uh, at the end of this road, and turn around, try to give you a little bit of a shot. Hard to imagine the, the number of people that were from the St. Charles and Bonnie Blue area that are moved on to greener pastures, I guess, or gone on to their sweet reward in heaven. Very few people left from that era in this area that are still live here. They've, a lot of them have migrated into larger towns and that type of thing. That tends to happen. Even if they don't completely move out of the area, they uh, head to a little bit closer to medical facilities and shopping, grocery stores, that type of thing. Because it's a pretty good little ways from, from these places. But I wanted to end up here at Bryson Holler and now talk to you on the next video okay everybody Shane Simmons and I'm here in Bonnie Blue section of st. Charles looking at the Powell Mountain Energy LLC and this was at one time a massive coal operation you can't quite see it because they as you can see they have me gated off but this little sign tells you some of the names that have uh, you may have heard of over time there's the Virginia Darby uh, the Wallen shop the party mine so you've got several different locations up in there. 
as we're heading back this way, we'll, we'll take a look at this kind of a neat thing. See the, where the mountains froze up, the water running off the mountain. Makes a really neat little effect. It's a beautiful location up here. It's a very remote part outside of St. Charles. Uh, but it looks like there's still a little bit of mining that goes on here in this area, which is very welcome to these folks, I can tell you. We'll head on Bonnie Blue. It's an uh, interesting place. I've heard of several different theories for the name of it, um, including that it was named for the daughter of uh, one of the coal operators, and also that it was named after the Bonnie Blue flag of the Confederacy, which probably had some sort of part in it. But it was... Uh, also part of the Blue Diamond Coal Company was the first major one around here, so it could have played a factor in it too. This is a picture we took last year that a lot of people really resonated with them. It is the empty goal basketball goal, so I want to get a good shot of that in the winter. Uh, it really grows up in summer, looked really terrible, and you can see now that you got a good clear shot of it, but heard from so many people that actually remember playing on that goal. Um, and here's an older example of a house. It's been abandoned now, it looks like, uh, but it's, it's still in really good shape for an older coal house. I'll try to roll in through Pop Branch up here. As you can see, at one time Bonnie Blue was home to an estimated a thousand people, and it is all but gone now. It is almost virtually wiped out, um, which is a very sad reality, certainly for people who come from this area. The script is readily available and it's fairly cheap. I got a you get penny versions of it for probably six, seven, eight bucks, which is not bad at all. Uh, and it's part of the, the blue diamond script. I'm running out of videotape, so I gotta talk fast and drive fast. Just wanted to give you a shot. I just love Bonnie Blue just for the name as much as anything else. I'll turn around here and try to head back in the area. Try not to make you car sick, I promise. You can see it's a really wet, foggy day here, so it's really... That time of year, I guess. Really the only community that's got much going on up in this way is this pot branch. You can see there's several houses up through here. Once I turn up this way. Yeah, we'll take a look at the railroad tracks and I'm afraid my video cable will probably run out here in just any second now, but just wanted to give you an idea of what the little community of Bonnie Blue looks like these days. And I will revisit you on our next video.